eye signs. Oh boy. I'm tired. The energy is just so heavy fire sign. So this is the love reading for the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Remember to become a member of the channel. If you become a member of the channel, use the medium subscription. Um, that will give you a whole lot of extra reading and they're free. Okay. So, fire sign, what's going on in love for you in this month? Express your love, fire sign. Whatever is transpiring, you need to express your love. Some of you just feel, yeah, but I love the person. They know it. Express your love. Okay? It is safe to love. So go on. Open up your hearts, you fire sign, because it is safe for you to love in this month okay so be aware of that it is okay just go for it open up your heart express yourself now i see um someone um some of you could be dealing with issues because you're in um interracial relationships so you could be having some issues in interracial relationships all right five sorry so be aware of that now i see a whole lot of passion Passion is coming up for you. Fire sign, that's why you should express your love. I see this passion is going to be short-term lift. It's not going to be long-term passion, so that's okay. Just get it going, okay? You need to release your energies. So then I see a lot of you um, are longing for someone in another city, another place. So I see this is a new love that you have met, but this person is living in another city or another place. I see love triangles is coming up. A lot of you are in love triangles. So that is coming up and it's going to affect the blonde ladies. You blonde ladies are going to be meeting someone in another city, another place. You young ladies between the ages of 18 and 25, you are having a whole lot of love triangles. I see you blonde ladies are going to be meeting your soulmate is coming in for you blonde ladies mature ladies i see you're looking in because you're realizing that a young lady is intervening in your relationship she's becoming in as a third party person in your relationship i see you're really looking at this person and wonder where are you going little girl so this is really happening i see that this young person is in violin some of you older women, mature women, have been in a relationship for quite a long time and you realize that this young person is coming in. So I see a whole lot of passion is going on for you guys, but a whole lot of love triangles for people between the ages of 18 and 45. Um, you need to get out of people marriage, okay? Let them be with their marriage because this is transpiring. A whole lot of conflicts, um, people in passion, a whole lot of conflicts because there's a lot of jealousy um, and lies and jealousy. So I see that this is going to be coming out. And that's why the passion is going to last not for long because um, of uh, jealousy um, that is coming up. So be aware. Then we see a lot of you are going to be meeting someone new. But whoever you meet that is coming up is going to be short live. A whole lot of you are going to be connecting with a Taurus. A whole lot of you are having a lot of passionate um, relationship with a Taurus, but there's a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness. A whole lot of you are connecting with a Leo, but a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness with this Leo. This is a karmatic situation that is transpiring. Some of you are seeing someone in another city, another place, but they're in a love triangle. You're going to be finding out about this. So I see you um blonde ladies could be in some love triangle or someone you're seeing is in some love triangle a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness with a new love that you are in a relationship with or you're seeing i see truths are going to be coming out and some of you are going to be meeting especially you blonde ladies are going to be meeting your soulmate in this month and this is beautiful I see a lot of you are connecting with a scorpion. Whoever the scorpion or the Pisces is, I see a lot of emotions because uh, 
a lot of you young ladies between the ages of 18 and 40 um, 25 is having some um serious love triangle and it's coming to an end because a tower moment is coming down because people are going to be finding out that you are seeing other people i see that some of you who are with a married man his wife is going to be knowing and she's going to be ending this relationship i see you young fire sign could be meeting your soulmate and a twin flame some of you young fire sign thinks that a um um a, a scorpion is your twin flame no they're not okay so they're going to be telling you that they are not your twin flame your twin flame is a gemini so i don't know what is transpiring i see new love is going to be coming in it is here twice so a lot of you new love is going to be coming in i see a situation that some of you or going to be meeting um, a new love this is a Gemini and some of you are going to be meeting a Taurus some of you are going to be meeting a Capricorn but I see the Capricorn is going to be ending the relationship because a Capricorn is in a, a love triangle okay so yep Capricorn is in a love triangle this Capricorn is um, Mr. Or Mrs. Lover Man okay so some lies and deceptiveness um, around uh, you, Leos, and you're in some passion relationship. Um, I see you're dealing with a cancer. It's going to divorce in you. Um, some of you are going to be getting with um, um, an Aquarian. So I see some of you are in a love triangle, some passionate love triangle with a cancer, um, a... Um, a Aquarian and uh, a Libra whatever is transpiring um, with you guys whoever this person is I see a lot of conflicts is going to be coming up okay so be aware of that so I see that some of you Sagittarians and some of you Tauruses are going to be connecting with a Gemini but there is some um, information or some deceptive play with this Gemini. You got to be aware of this. Um, now, it is safe for you to love. Open up your heart. I see if you do that, you will have long-term stability with a Pisces and a Cancer. It's not really advisable. Okay. Okay. So we see short-term relationship um, is coming up with a Capricorn. So whatever is transpiring, I see that this Capricorn, short-term relationship with you and this Capricorn. So this is good. I see um, some of you are going to be meeting a Gemini. Um, Sagittarians, you could be meeting a Gemini. And you're going to be building uh, financial stability together. That is good. And again, I see a whole lot of passion is going on. Third-party relationship with a Capricorn. A Libran and a Aries. Capricorn, Libran, and Aries. Some of you are in a third party with a Capricorn, a Libran, and an Aries. So as we look at the Wheel of Fortune, a whole lot of you, um, and a Pisces and a Libran is going to be coming back in the lives of you guys. Pisces and a Libran. A whole lot of you are having past life issues and relationship with a, a Pisces and a Libran. Then we have the Scorpion and the Cancers. You guys are seeing the truth about the car, car, um, a Scorpion or a Cancer that is living in another country or away from you. You're going to be finding out some information about this person that they're married or is in another relationship. Okay, so I see a lot of you gemini's um is coming in to meet uh, the sagittarius and the aries so a lot of you sagittarius and aries will meet a gemini it's a yes go for this person it is the right person so i see that you um you blonde ladies are in to meet a businessman um whoever this person is they have their own business it can be a capricorn 
um, for some of you. Some of you, it's going to be a Taurus. Some of you, it's going to be a Cancer. This man is a businessman. He has his business. Um, and whoever this person is has a lot of money. It's a businessman. Then we see some of you are dealing with a scorpion. Whoever this scorpion is, I see um, you're connected with the scorpion, but the scorpion is also connected with a, um, a Capricorn and a Cancer. So there's a lot of emotional feelings that you have for this Cancer or this Capricorn, but I see that whoever you are, they're in love with a Capricorn. So be aware of that. A tower moment is coming down for... Um, whoever is in a relationship with an Aquarian, um, or um, if you're in a relationship with a Cancer, if you're married to a Cancer or married to an Aquarian, um, they could be seeing each other. So let's say you're married to a Cancer. This Cancer is seeing an Aquarian. I see you're going to be ending this relationship. You're going to be ending the relationship. So you wives are going to be finding out if you're married to a cancer that the cancer is seen an aquarian i see divorce is coming up you cancers divorce could be whoever is married to a cancer i see you could be divorcing this uh, person so you women um if you're married to a cancer you're going to divorce this cancer because this cancer is seen a younger um woman and she's a third party in your marriage Ooh, cancers, I don't know what is happening to you guys and cancers, but I see you're ending relationships with them, ending marriage with them, or finding out that these cancers are seeing other people. So this is coming up. Then I see um, divorce could be coming up. Um, some of you Aries are going to be meeting a Gemini. This Gemini is going to be a soulmate, Okay. So it's always fire sign with air sign people. So um, if you get in a relationship with an earth sign people, it's not going to be working out. So I see new love is coming in. Um, a new love is coming in. And it is coming um, in from um, a Libran or a Gemini. So a Libran or a Gemini. But what I'm seeing also is that if you're in a relationship with a Gemini, there's a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness that is going on around this person. You got to be aware of it, who this person is and what is transpiring between you and this person. Because this person, there's a lot of lies that is going on. So it is safe to express your love. I see some of you um, could have some short-term relationship with a Pisces and a Cancer. It's not going to long last. It's not going to last. Then I see um, you Sagittarians are um, going to be finding out something about a Taurus. And this relationship is not going to last long. You, um, you, um, Aquarians or dealing with a Capricorn relationship is not going to last long. Passion, passion lies uh, in this month, uh, Jupiter and uh, and the Virgos. Okay, um, so um, some of you are having a whole lot of passion with um the Virgos. Some of you are having passion um with the the Capricorn. Some of you are having passion. Um, but this is like short-lived. It's not going to be long-lasting. So be aware of that. Double passion is coming up for you, fire sign. So a whole lot of you, fire sign, is going to be having passion with the Capricorns, passion with the Virgos, passion with the Cancers, passion with the Aquarians. So a whole lot of passion is going to be coming up. Double passion is coming up. Express your love engagement if some of you were engaged to a, um, to a capricorn or some of you were engaged to a cancer it's not going to be working out it's going to be ending new love i see you're you're finding new love and you're making more healthy choices because i see the sagittarians and the aries are going to be finding new love um they could be finding each other or they could be finding a gemini so new love is going to be good some of you are in a long distance relationship so, and um, this relationship is with a Pisces, a Scorpion and a Cancer. They are married and they haven't told you. I see you need to make a decision 
about this because I see that uh, um, they are um, playing you and I see that some of you are in love with these people but they are, are in, already in other relationship or they are married third part relationship I see the runner I see some of you are seeing someone but this person is not going to be staying in this relationship so I can tell you so if you're seeing um, a Capricorn or um, they're not going to stay in this relationship if you're seeing a cancer it's short term I see um, a love triangle and um, they're going to be running soon um, that means it's just short term um, they could be finding out that you have been seeing other people they are not staying you ladies are going to be finding out about um, your partner in a third party relationship and you're ending it so if you're married to a cancer you're, um, you're going to find out that this cancer is uh, in love with an Aries a younger Aries and you're going to end the relationship lightning struck for you blonde ladies but it is a sudden sudden um, that some of you blonde ladies are going to be meeting these businessmen you're going to be meeting a businessman this is a Sagittarian um, this is a Capricorn businessman a Virgo businessman or a cancer businessman so unexpectedly you blonde ladies are going to be meeting this businessman unexpectedly your life your life is going to be changed it's going to be good it's going to be beautiful soulmate I see indulgency in you young ladies 18 to 35 you're so self-indulgent at the moment but um if you um what is transpiring is that uh, you are self-indulgent because you're seeing an older woman wife and it's as if you're displaying it in front of her she's going to take you down so I'm, I'm i'm warning you so i see a whole lot of you is nostalgia thinking back of the past um past relationship and um i see that uh, um a you guys are going to be meeting the, the your soulmate and it is a libran or a gemini a libran or a gemini so this is good um a whole lot of nostalgia is coming up a whole lot of you are thinking about the past relationship things that was happening and a lot of you are going to be meeting a gemini or an um a libran and this is a new love that is coming in and especially mature women you're going to be meeting you're going to be um finding new love especially mature women that is divorced on your own with your kids i see new love is going to be coming in for you guys and this is going to be good so it is really not really a bad month to be honest um and only that i see an engagement is going to be broken off so if you are engaged um to a capricorn or a cancer they might be um um or a taurus they might be ending engagement and breaking off with you um some of you are going to be really putting down your foot whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you're really going to be putting down your foot about some deceptive deceptive situation from um um a relationship someone you're seeing overseas you're going to be realizing that this person has been playing you and whoever this person is it could be um a a pisces or a um or a a pisces or a libran a pisces or a libran is playing some of you and you're going to be finding this out and you're going to be bringing an end to it because you don't want to be in this deceptive sort of uh, um, plane. You want a long-term stable relationship. So you're going to be ending it, okay? And some of you are going to be who are in third-party relationships, like you are in love triangle. They're going to be finding out. One of these parties is going to be finding out. And I see some of you are in a relationship with a scorpion. This is a runner. Okay, if you're in a relationship, a, a third party, a love triangle with a scorpion, a cancer, or a Capricorn, they're running, they're leaving. They're going to be ending this third party relationship. So be aware of this. So for the rest of it, it is about uh, um, a lot of interracial relationship where people are finding passion. Um, a lot of people are going to be having interracial relationship where 
a whole lot of passion. You're going to be blown away um, for the passion between you and this person. But I see that um, once this person find out that there are other people, they're going to be existing this relationship. So be aware of this and what is transpiring. Some of you are going to be um, finding out a whole lot of things as if you thought that you were the only person, but you're realizing, oh no, um, you are like on a list, okay? So you got to be aware of what is transpiring. I love you guys. I'm saying namaste. Go and become a member of the channel. Use the medium. Um, so use the, the link to connect and become a member. Um, the monthly subscription and you can receive all the readings are going to be free so whatever monthly subscription you take it's better to take the medium monthly subscription all the extended readings and you will see how much you get it's all free and it's just 4.99 and it's all free i think youtube has done a good job i love you guys gotta go but enjoy your month show and express love because this is what it's all about. Love is what it's all about. Namaste.